Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of my Iron Man series. And to start things off, we return to the good old Aberrant Spectres. As I mentioned in the last episode, I would be grinding these guys for a very long time to 75 ranged, and I went over all those specifics last time, so don't really need to go over it again, but yeah, this is going to be a long grind. Hope you're ready for it. Yeah, typical luck. I got another Ghost Hunter piece. Again, this is super, super rare, and I already have two, and we like just started this grind, so yeah, I don't really know how to react here. That's what I'm talking about, 140 Raw Lobster Rare Drop Table Drop. I'll take free food any day. As I said, the Slayer experience does add up. 61, not bad. I also got 69 HP. There's like so much happening in that minute. Holy shit. Sweet, I just got a tooth half drop as well. I now have a full key because I'm sitting at like four loop halves and this is my first tooth half. But a lot of people suggested that I should just save them for Elf City because you get much better stuff from there. And then if you use them on the Voice of Saren as well, you get the Corrupted Ore. So that would be very nice to get. So I'm just going to save them for now. I will take your guys' advice. All right, there was a bit of a mishap. So I had a stream where I did a lot of Iron Man uh, just recently. And like three hours into that stream, my computer blew up. Literally, it actually exploded. I got hit by bits of shrapnel. It was, it was bad. But all in all, I just lost like three hours of Iron Man recordings. So this is ripped directly from my stream. I apologize. You have to look at my shitty face, but bear with me. It's only for a short while. And here we go. Here's a milestone that I wanted. 70 ranged. This means I can throw away my shitty red salamander and use my black salamander that I have. I'm very glad that I got 67 Hunter a while ago to make this happen. So, yeah, this is going to be a huge step up. I just need to make a ton of Hairlander tar for the ammo. But essentially, this has like 30% better damage and accuracy than the red one so I should definitely see faster kills per hour. You can actually see my reaction here but I don't want to play the sound because of possible copyright but yeah I had a 218 adamant ore drop from the rare drop table that is so good for Iron Man like at my stage in the game Addy ore is kind of a bitch to get so this will really help with smithing once I get up to that level of smithing and I can always elk those items for a ton of money later on. I also got 71 ranged right after that too. Everything that I do is like happening at the same time. I don't get it. Enough of those stream clips. That's all that happened during the clips that I lost. But here comes a couple levels. 72 ranged and 71 HP. Which puts me up to 97 combat. Nice. I only have 300k more ranged experience left. I'm on the last stretch guys. Holy fucking shit. No way. No way. I just got a champion scroll. That is a 1 in 5k drop. What? 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 I don't even... I don't even... What? So yeah, I think you guys are probably tired of my luck on this account. When people say Iron Man luck, they're not fucking lying. What the hell is wrong with this account? First, I get an extremely rare pet at Runespan. Then I'm getting super lucky on like rare drop table, ghost hunter. Now I get a 1 in 5,000 drop? There's no way this is real. But regardless, I am so psyched that I got one of these because it reminds me of the good old days back in 2010 uh, when I was doing a bunch of Slayer. It was when I was first going for 85 Slayer. And this was back when the whips were like 4 mil. So you wanted to get to Abbey Demons. But yeah, back to the story. I was doing an Aber Inspector's task back then. And that was when the effigies first came out. So I think effigies came out in June 2010. So it must have been really, really recent to their update. I got a champion scroll and an effigy in the same task. So both of those items, I had no idea what they were. I just knew that both of them were so rare. So yeah, it just brings back the memories. Anyway, back to the Iron Man. 74 ranged. So close. Can't wait to be done. But obviously, I can't leave without another thing of luck. Uh, Ghost Hunter legs. Three out of four pieces of the set now. It is too bad that I'm almost done now because I might not get the last piece of the set, but eh, I might get it if I do like Aber Inspector's tasks in the future, but I'll be fine. 72 HP, 67 prayer, and 75 ranged, we're done. It's over. First requirement is now done for Elf City. That is an awesome feeling, it really is. And I also can go get ranged tendrils. 
which might be pretty good in some places, but we'll have to see about that. Goodbye, Aber Inspectors. It was, it was nice knowing you. Anyway, as you see, I'm currently in the process of making more ammo for myself for the Black Salamander, and there we go, 75 Herblore. Yeah, man, that is another requirement for Elf City. Two down in one day, I am so happy. There is 10 level 75 skills I have to get, so we are still a long ways to go, but Herblore is probably one of the hardest out of the 10, so I am I am psyched. 63 Slayer, and you might be wondering, what the fuck? Tyler, you're done. Why are you back? I decided to stay a bit longer to finish off this level. You know, 63 Slayer. I didn't want to just be like a couple hundred experience away. So now I'm officially done. Let's go over and check out the total loot. Hey guys, and welcome to a new loot video. This is 3,000 Aberrant Spectres. I'm sorry, I had to do that. Besides the jokes, if you're wondering, I have almost 3,500 kills of these fuckers. So this loot is from that amount. And yeah... Look how many herbs there are. There's just so much to talk about, but let's talk about anything that's remotely interesting. So looking at the Jenger berries, I'm not really sure if they're useful at all. I know that you can make them into Zami brews, but I don't know if I really need those. So I feel like they're generally useless, but looking on the Wikia, they have decent components for invention, so I might just keep them for that. Don't really have that many anyway, but what you guys came here for is the cash. Look at the five mil that I have in my inventory. That is awesome to see because I'm an Iron Man and I'm very early on in this account, to be honest. So seeing that much cash is just so nice and it makes all this work feel worth it. I didn't mention, but this was well over like... 10 hours of work because early on my kills per hour was were just garbage you know the charms ain't bad either but nothing to write home about i would say it's pretty good blues if anything also look at the amount of snape grass i have that is so many prayer potions i don't think i'll ever make that many maybe i will when i do combination potions later on but i think the best thing about these snape grass is just that i know that i'll never have to manually collect them because i never liked going to water birth it was just too much work and i'm lazy so, hi, other Tyler here. I'm currently editing the video. What the fuck? He just did 10 hours of these shits, and he's lazy to go get snape grass? Who is this guy? Where does he get off? Sweet, just finished a cache, and I got 77 divination. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell? Why are you showing me this? This is not content. I just wanted to have this clip in here to show that I am not slacking on dailies anymore. After that giant like thing of rune span and aber inspectors i can now put forth some time into dailies again i've been way too absorbed in that garbage to really do any of this also it's good to mention i did just hit 20 million total experience on this account that is fucked up that's what i like to see i got an herbal or challenge to clean 15 dwarf weeds but i extended it so i have to do 30 and i got a shit ton from aber inspectors so this shouldn't be too bad Fifty-one thousand experience why is this allowed? This is so good. Please help me. I just finished cleaning all of my herbs, so that was honestly like two hours. But uh, as you can see, look at this. Everything is clean except the dwarf weeds. I didn't clean that because currently I get clean dwarf weed challenges, and I want to keep some grimy ones for that. I'm at a high enough level now that I don't get the lantanine, so I cleaned all of those. Now, that is just so many herbs everywhere, and I don't have any plans of doing herbal ore explicitly for a little while. I'm mainly just training it through, like, you know, lamps and stuff like I have been. Once I actually get to extremes, this will all come full circle. I'll definitely see why this 5 mil GP trek was worth it. And speaking of the 5 mil GP, question becomes, how should I use it? What am I doing with it? So first of all, I put, like, a little over 2 million into my kingdom for the time being, and I'll probably just refresh that as time goes on. Just by doing, like, Slayer tasks in the future, I should just keep around a decent amount of coins for that. But the rest of the money I plan on using on boss instances during Reaper tasks for fast response, as well as construction. I need a lot of money for construction, and I do need 79 for the Sun Spear, which I'll have a lot of logs for planks after my woodcutting goal, so I'm not super worried about it. But again, it's going to require a metric fuck ton of money. And I just noticed I've been swearing a lot in this episode, so if you're not used to me swearing a lot, I am so sorry, but fuck it. Let's move on. So now that we're done with all the Aber Inspector stuff, I think it's time to start another major goal. And I actually lost a bet with a viewer of mine 
which if I lost, I would have to go for the dragon pickaxe on my Iron Man. So yeah, I wasn't really planning on doing this anytime soon. So now I have to do it earlier than later, which this may not be the most efficient way of my account, but a bet's a bet. I got to do it. So to make my life not suck ass at the dragon pickaxe place, I do want to go get the charming imp, the bone crusher, and any other dungeoneering rewards I might need. So this is the time. Let's go and get that stuff done. Dungeoneering sucks, but we got to do it. Kick things off. We're already at 65 dungeoneering. Not bad. And I usually don't do medium floors this early on, but I want to do a medium abandon too to hunt for a better weapon because I think I mentioned this earlier in like episode two or three or something like that. You can guarantee an unholy curse bearer boss and if you're doing a medium, it's a higher level, so you have a much better chance of getting a nice staff. So, good luck me. Oh my god, we actually got a tier 80 staff. Holy shit. That's awesome. Uh, I actually can't use it right now because I'm only 75 mage, but I'm going to train mage again once I hit 75 defense, which I'm currently training my defense through mage right now, if you guys are wondering. I might have mentioned it in a previous episode, but yeah, this is going to be really nice once I do hit that 80 mage, so I'm going to bind it right away. Too bad I didn't upgrade my current weapon, but... I can't complain about that. All right, I got a Frost Dragon. Oh my god, those are so rare. I can actually do the medium task now. Um, and yeah, there's a medium task where you have to use a Frost Dragon Bone on an altar in a dungeon. And you only can get Frost Dragons on the ice floors. So the first 11, or yeah, 11. I've been hunting these a while, and I finally get to see one. So yeah, I'm super happy. Well, not really anymore because, oh my god, that's so stupid. I don't have an altar in this floor. What I can do is build my own altar at the base, which requires 75 construction, but I can't even boost high enough, even at my level. So, yeah, I'm kind of shit out of luck. That's that. This is possible. If you don't have 75 construction or the ability to get there, you're, you're kind of shit out of luck if you don't find an altar with a frost dragon. So, I'm actually a bit salty. Now I just gotta wait for another frost dragon. That sucks. Oh wow, that actually didn't take long. This is literally like two more floors. Oh, and look at that. Another floor without an altar. Wow. I know I shouldn't complain because it's my fault for not having 75 construction. Or maybe like 70. But like, I'm not going to go grind a million years just before this, just for the sake of getting an altar. When it shouldn't be this rare. Like, there are so many floors where I get altars and I don't see frost dragons. So why can't it be the other way, man? Cool, another frost dragon. Please... Please give me an altar this time. Nope. Nope. All right. What is this? Anyway, besides the salt, I did just hit 67 dungeoneering. Not bad. Another floor unlocked. And 69 dungeoneering. I think the salt is kind of worn off by now. But I can now do the highest abandoned two floor. Which if you, if you guys are confused on what abandoned two is when I say that, because it's not explicitly called that, there's two sections of abandoned floors. Uh, one section before furnished and after ice and then there's one after furnished that is just like six floors so the higher abandoned ones people call abandoned two just wanted to clarify if people were confused but we are so close to occult floors just two more levels so yeah i'm just about to reset again and i may as well just show you my tokens right now while i have the opportunity and i'm at fifty-five thousand. not bad i need a total of 151,000 with my current goals because i want to get the charming imp which is a hundred thousand I want to get the Bone Crusher, 34,000, and I want to get the Split Dragon Tooth Necklace, which is, I think, 17,000 tokens. Now, it's not the Demon Horn Necklace. I don't have the Prayer or Dungeoneering level for that yet, so I just got to settle with the Dragon one. But essentially what this does is it restores your prayer points when you bury bones. 50 for normal bones and bones like that, and 100 for big bones. Now, the Demon Horn Necklace, which is the step up, does both of those things but also restores prayer for the higher level bones like dragon and above. Not fighting those anytime soon anyway, so I'll just settle with this. Yo, another frost dragon, please. It's the fourth one. Come on. No altar. That's just, that's fucking great. It is time. It is finally time. We have a frost dragon with an altar this time. No way. I think I'm dreaming. I have to be dreaming right now. That medium task is now finished. I just had to go buy a gem bag to finish up the entire medium tasks. So yes, my life is complete. So the main reason I did the medium tasks is because they give you automatic law and cosmic runes at the start of every dungeon. It saves me a lot of time every dungeon 
from runecrafting, those stupid runes. It's just a quality of life thing. I think I mentioned that uh, the first time I went dungeon earlier in the series, but may as well reiterate. I swear, the doors in Dungeoneering are such good experience. 61, construction. And here we go, 71, Dungeoneering just unlocked the occult floors, finally. And I think I'm going to change my strategy. So I'm going to be still doing small C6 floors, 1 through 29, because just to get them done and still get experience. But I think on my floors 30 and above, I'm going to be doing mediums. Basically, I'm just doing this so that I get more experience every reset, because I'm really annoyed by doing the ice floors. They're just so boring. Same with uh, the earlier floors, like the early abandons and furnished are just really annoying. I'd rather do them less if that makes any sense. A73 Dungeoneering. This is honestly going fast. And here we are to 75 Dungeoneering. Reason I am mentioning this is because this is another skill requirement for Plague's End. We are now 3 out of 10 in this episode alone. That is sick. That is really, really cool. Okay, I think it's time after that giant montage. Let's look at the amount of tokens now. We are sitting at 113,000. All right, I finished another round of my floors, so we need to reset again. But I'm so close to 77 Dunge, which unlocks me another floor, which I want to do before I reset. So I'm going to go finish off that level at a resource dungeon, because if you open up resource dungeons for the first time, you get experience. Case in point, 77 Dunge. Ooh, look at that beautiful staff. If you've been paying attention to my character, I was using an Earth Staff, and that's a tier 61 I've been stuck with that for a long time, but I just got a tier 70 staff drop, which is the fire one. I'm going to see a lot better DPS until I get to the uh, tier 80 later on. It is done. It is finally over. As you can see by my quick chat, we are now sitting at the amount of tokens we needed. Oh, this took so long. I'm sure you may have seen it on stream. This was during a 24-hour stream. All of this dungeoneering was in one sitting. It was a lot of work. It was like so much, but so glad it's done. Honestly, last episode with the rune crafting, just one giant grind, then the giant grind of Aberrant Specters, and then the giant grind of Dungeoneering. Oh man, I'm, I'm beat. I'm, I'm just beat, man. It is great though because we now have the charming imp, Bone Crusher, and the split Dragon Tooth necklace, which means I can start working on getting to the Dragon Pickaxe because it honestly makes your life a lot better there because you don't have to worry about the charms, you don't have to worry about bones. And because you have the necklace, you don't have to worry about prayer either. It'll make my life just great. Considering the dragon pickaxe could take, you know, upwards of 40, 50 hours, depending on my luck. Now that we're done with that done shit, I do want to go and mention ports. So I mentioned this in the last episode that I started. And I can tell you right now that I have not made a lot of dents in my ports progress early on. Like, I just forgot it existed right after I unlocked it very weird. I don't I don't know why I forgot about it, but once I actually realized that it existed again, I went and did some. So now we are in the second region, the Skull. So I'll continue to update you guys uh, farther I get in this place, and I was right in the last episode. I said, I hope this ports grind is really addicting again. And yeah, it is really addicting. I'm really enjoying it again. So I'm definitely going to be motivated on my ports. And if it works out, I could maybe like get the rewards really early on in my Iron Man, which would prove so useful for the end game content. Again, I will update you guys as I go along. All right. Well, I think that does it for this episode, guys. That was so much progress. I will wager that this was probably the most jam-packed episode in terms of time played, I have never spent so much time on a progress video. Oh man, that was just so much. But the amount of progress I got is just ridiculous. Let's look at our total level. We are now sitting at 1746. Damn. And I started at 1690 from uh, last episode. So most of the levels are obviously um, ranged and dungeoneering. And we're also at 22 million experience total. As for my next goals, I'm going to go for the Dragon Pickaxe, like I said. Hopefully starting next episode, we'll see how it works. I still have to get 69 strength for the quest, which I'm sitting at like 57. So it's a, it's a long ways. It'll definitely be worth it. And I think the Dragon Pickaxe hunt will be fun to watch in terms of this series. But it's probably not going to be super fun to grind. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, if you guys want to talk to me in-game, join my friend's chat, Fat Nooblet. Also check out my links in the description where you can find my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon, and my Discord server. Recommend checking those things out. Either way, 
hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.